Thank you everybody for being here this afternoon. Uh, we really appreciate the opportunity to talk with you about an important announcement from the Department of Employment Training and Rehabilitation. I wanted to let you know that uh, we do plan to have another call to answer more questions tomorrow morning, uh, but we wanted to get this information out this afternoon. So following this call and after this announcement, we will be sending a press release. We'll also be sending out some fact sheets and some frequently asked questions. Uh, so just if we have had some questions come in that we'll try to answer today, but we wanted to let you know we will be uh, having another call tomorrow morning and um, would like you to please submit any questions to Rosa Mendez in the meantime. So again, I'm very pleased to uh, join you this afternoon and announce that the Department of Employment Training and Rehab is, to, um, is set to begin accepting pandemic unemployment assistance, otherwise known as PUA. Uh, claims effective this Saturday, May 16th. We expect to make payments on those claims sometime on or about Saturday of May 23rd. The department and our vendor for the PUA module named GSOL have been working around the clock to implement what is an extraordinarily complex uh, claim system. And I have to tell you, I'm extremely proud of the work of the Dieter staff. Beginning May 16th, eligible Nevadans can file their PUA claims at www.employnv.gov. I need to make sure you all understand that this functionality will not be available until Saturday, May 16th. So if you go to that page today, you will not be able to file a PUA claim until Saturday, May 16th. The new system is independent from the standard UI or unemployment insurance system and offers a streamlined method for Nevadans to file their PUA benefit claims. Effective Saturday, May 16th, the Alorica Call Center will be a dedicated call center for PUA-related questions, and they will be the primary claims adjudicators for all PUA claims. They will have a new phone number effective Saturday, and that phone number is not live and will not be live until Saturday. It will be included in the press release, but I'll give it to you now. It's 1-800-603-9681. Claimants are encouraged to read all of the material that will be posted at deeter.nv.gov backslash PUA or PUA. There you'll find fact sheets, you'll find frequently asked questions, and all of this of course will be provided to the press on this call with the, with the press release following our announcement here this afternoon. Claimants can find anything they need to know to file their claims all on that PUA page. The, program is one, the PUA program is just one of the provisions under the CARES Act and is designed to offer unemployment benefits to independent contractors and others who are historically unable to qualify for traditional unemployment insurance benefits. At a very high level, individuals may be eligible for PUA if they are self-employed, 1099 contract workers, and or gig workers. Or if they, and or if they're employees whose wages are not reported for unemployment insurance, if they're an employee who has earned enough wage, who has not earned enough wages or worked enough hours for standard unemployment benefits as a result of COVID-19, or if they were unemployed or going to start work but could not because of the COVID-19 outbreak. Claimants must be able by state law. They must have prior earnings in Nevada or a job offer to work in Nevada and must not be eligible for standard unemployment insurance benefits, including regular unemployment insurance, emergency unemployment, and state extended benefits. Filers will need the following information when they file a claim, W-2 or a 1099 form, tax returns, pay stubs, bank receipts, ledgers, invoices, and billing statements. 
This new dedicated system and call center will all be available Sunday, May, or excuse me, Saturday, May 16th. Our call center will be available on Sunday or Saturday and Sunday, May 16th and May 17th as our system launches. We do expect a very large volume and um, we also want to encourage people to go directly to employeenv.gov on Saturday when it's live. and you can solve. Going to deeter.nv.gov backslash PUA will allow you to have all the information you need to file your claim by yourself. The Alorica Call Center is no longer going to be taking general questions and informational calls effective at 8 p.m. today, Thursday, May 14th. Starting tomorrow, they will be training and transitioning to becoming the full uh, PUA claim guard call center. And going forward again, they will be available this Saturday and Sunday from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. to handle calls and questions about the, the PUA filings. Again, we expect high volumes and we expect filers uh, to please do their homework in advance and make sure that you know what you need going into the claim so that you can self-serve and that we can get calls answered in a timely fashion. With that, I will um, be happy to answer any questions. Rosa, I believe we had some questions come in. Were there some that you wanted me to answer right now? Yes. Thank you, Director. So um, our first question um, is from Ryan Kennedy from KTVN. Um, his question is, um, when, are the payments for PUA to be retroactive payments? When will that take effect? Thank you for the question, Ryan. Yes, the, the PUA claims um, are backdated and will be backdated to the date of your eligibility. And for the, pub, the, for the PUA, the eligibility starts on January 27th. The benefits are available as long as you're eligible, backdated to January 27th through December 31st of 2020. All righty. Um, our next qu uh, question is from Joe Bartels, um, and he's a asking, um, uh, regarding the PUA, B the PUA benefit, does that also make the individuals um, eligible to receive the additional federal um, $600 in addition to the PUA benefit? Yes, that's called the FPUC, and individuals who are eligible for PUA may, in fact, be eligible for that additional six hundred dollars so yes all righty and let me get another question for you hang on one second um one of the one of the questions uh, from channel five is why did it take so long for for nevada to get their um PUA program in place uh, Nevada is uh, one of many states, uh, six other states this week that are going live with our PUA implementation and um, of the 52 state territories basically that are uh, responsible for administering PUA, 24 states have not yet made any payments on them. So uh, I think that we're in, in good company. Thank you. Um, another question from um, Ryan at KTVN is, um, we've heard several people um, saying that they can actually make more money on employment that they normally would work at work. Um, if an employer asks someone to come back and they refuse, um, will they be able to still continue to receive their unemployment benefits? Uh, again, the, the way that the federal and state laws are written is that you must be willing and able to accept employment in order to continue to receive, or in, uh, in order to continue to receive benefits. And if you are asked to go back to work the way that we understand uh, the laws to work is that you will not receive any additional benefits if you refuse the, um, the, the offer. However, we are working on trying to put together guidance for people in this space. We know that that's a concern, and so please note that there is uh, information from Dieter that will be forthcoming. Thank you so much. Um, I have an additional question from Tiffany Lane at KSNVTV. Um, anyone who has already filed, are they required to refile under PUA if they've already received a card? 
if they are self reported Yes, uh, you will need to file under PUA if you are and believe yourself eligible to be PUA uh, beneficiary. Thank you so much for that, Director. Just looking for some more questions. Um, just trying to see if we can open it up. Well, and I'll just remind everybody that uh, Rosa and I will go through questions this evening and make sure that tomorrow when we sit down to talk again, we try to answer all of whatever is outstanding. Um, and we'll send out a media advisory in the morning so you know what time we'll be joining you via Zoom again. Um, and while Rose is looking to see if there's any further questions that we want to get answered this afternoon, I just want to remind everybody that the employee.nv.gov site is not going to be available until Saturday. Uh, and that you uh, may not be, um, that the call center, the new number that we talked about, the 1-800-603-9681, will not be active until Saturday either. So please note that that is the case. Director, we have opened um, the, chat, the, um, the chat room open for questions. So hang on one second as we go through. Um, okay, so we have a question from Michelle Rindles. What will, pay, uh, and I believe you did touch on this briefly, but what will the PUA payments um, amounts regular UI claimants get? Kimberly Gaw in our office here, so I'm going to ask her to answer that question. The, the minimum weekly benefit amount that eligible uh, PUA claimants will receive is $181. Um, the maximum benefit amount is based on our standard UI state maximum benefit amount, which is $469, plus the additional $600 federal pandemic unemployment compensation dollars. So those are the two max and minimums. Thank you. And all of this information is going to be available to you through the fact sheets and the frequently asked questions that we will send out after this call. And then I've got one last question. Um, what happens um, to, this is from the Review Journal, what happens to gig workers who have since returned to work? What are they supposed to do? You are eligible for backdating payments until the date, or from, to the date of your eligibility until you return to work. So you should still file your PUA claim. Thank you. Um, and then we have one more. Um, okay. Is there, uh, can you go over, um, is there any, in, the, in addition to the documentation that you mentioned for um, eligibility to actually be able to file, is there anything, is there a way for us, for the claimants to do that? Um, would that be by calling in or by, is there a separate fax line or a separate email address? I'm really happy to answer that question for you. And actually, I'll let Kimberly answer that. This is for PUA only. Go ahead. The system is fully electronic, and filers will be able to upload all their documents directly in with the claim. There will not be a fax or a PO box to mail anything into. It's all online, so you can take a picture of your pay stub, and you can upload it right into your claim. Thank you. And then um, we have one, one more question. Uh, there's, uh, the review journal is also asking for a clarification on, on how, the, how the back pay is going to work with the PUA benefit. Uh, much like the, the standard UI benefits, uh, we will back pay to the date of your eligibility. And that eligibility is going to be determined on the information that you provide in your claim and that you upload to document your uh, pay. Thank you. And, and then um, I think this will be um, our last question. Okay. Um, Dieter um, had announced, as announced the recent implementation of the PEUC. Um, how is the PEUC benefit related to the PUA folks? 
So PEUC is Pandemic Extended Unemployment Compensation. PEUC benefits are an extension of 13 weeks of benefits on a standard UI claim. PUA actually allows for 39 weeks of benefits. So PEUC is an extension of 13 weeks on a standard UI claim. Great, thank you. Feel free to email those to Rosa and we'll send out an advisory for another call for being here today. 